folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Hello everybody out there in Seabreeze Nation, it's Seabreeze right here. And I'm sure you're wondering, why is the backbone of the microphone in a paddle shop? Well, today is a very, very special day. 20 years ago, a very special, special video dropped. Now, when I was a young man, very young man, 10, 12, I used to go down to my friend's house, Ben Asker, because we lived in a trailer. Ben had a house, so we didn't have a basement. But Ben had a basement, so I would go down in his basement and we would watch some pretty, let's just say life-changing videos. Some of those videos were The Exorcist, Rosemary's Baby, Salem's Lot, Faces of Death. But none of those videos prepared us for the video that his older brother, GSP, dropped on us one night. We'd just finished watching Shock Theater. And GSP walked down the steps with these two videos. And he said, boys, it's time for a change tonight. And we was like, what's going on? He brought the classic Whitewater video by the one Spencer Cook called Buck Fever. Now, if you've never seen Buck Fever, it is a thrashing, trashing video of white water epicness that you have never seen before. It's the original white water video. We watched that and we were pretty much in shock. But then, the next video, Entering the Donkey. Entering the Donkey. Now, Spencer went on to make some other videos. I'm gonna show you what they are, too. But the problem with these videos, you see, the Spencer finally sold out. He went DVD. He went new school. Coming home. Coming home. The Eddie feeling. The Eddie feeling. And the worst, he tried to capitalize on entering the donkey with Night of the Living Donkey. Night of the Living Donkey. Don't watch them. Don't watch them. Don't buy them. Don't buy them. Those are not for you. However, Buck Fever and Entering the Donkey. All right, hit it. Classic, classic whitewater videos. You got to see them. They changed my life so much, I wrote a song about and we're gonna see that now. Twenty years ago, buck fever began. I'm gonna do it now like I did it back then. First time I hit the river, I was 10. When it was over, I told my pappy, let's do it again. He said, no, 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 the water's way too hot to get out of my way. Time for me to fly, buck fever. Buck fever. 
buck fever. Now I'm a little bit older, gray hair on my chest, but I'm still untouchable like Elliot Ness. Here are the people and the words we'd say when we used to paddle back in the day, buck fever. There was Spencer Ray Cotton, the Felipe crew, Joey Hall, Drew Hayes, Christopher Two. We did fifths, booths, and teacup in two. We'd rock another Chucky with the Asheville crew, buck fever. Buck fever. Buck fever. No kids, no jobs, and no real money. All we needed was a boat and a shuttle bunny. One was for the rush, another for the touch. Back then we didn't think we'd miss them so much. Buck fever. We didn't need no fortune, didn't want no fame. We'd stay up late and pray for rain. Buck fever. Buck fever. The rain would come and the river get swole. The river got the heart and the river got the soul. Never thought back then we'd ever grow old. But look in that mirror, it'll make you a believer. The time can't take away the days when we had but fever. Big shout out to Will, the Seal Sealy at Get Outdoors in Greensboro, North Carolina. For all your white water, old school buck fever need. Big thanks and shout out to Thomas Farlow for rocking the, all the videography work, everything he did, amazing work. He made me look good. Blue Road Media, check him out. Thank you all and to all. Hope you catch it, baby. Buck Fever. <laughs>